Welcome to another virtual OPG Second Sunday. Today we're going to be inspired by the artist Megan Moore and her series titled Specimens. This online exhibition has some beautiful photographs that have been manipulated. For today's project, I'm going to show you how to make a similar effect. Materials are flexible depending on what you have on hand, but I recommend having the following. Pencil crayons, washable markers, plastic wrap, a blank sheet of paper, some cardboard, craft glue, and some scissors. To begin, have a look around your house for any textured surfaces you can find. A good way to tell that a surface will work is to run your hand along it and see if you can feel the ridges. I'm using cool colors of pencil crayons such as blues, purple, green, gray, and black because those are the colors that are in Megan Moore's artwork. Once you find a texture you want to use, place your sheet of paper over it and use the side of your pencil crayon to shade in the area where you want to capture it. Repeat this step with different textures and colors until your entire page is filled. You can find some great textures outside, but make sure that the surface you want to use is dry so that you don't ruin your paper. After your page is filled, I suggest gluing it onto a piece of cardboard. This will help to keep the paper from buckling during the next step. You can place a book on top to ensure that it dries flat. While our artwork is drying, get some plastic wrap and cut it into smaller pieces. We're going to use this to add some of the warped plastic effect that makes the art of Megan Moore so unique. Using washable markers, add some color to one side of the plastic wrap. I'm using the same colors that I did for the pencil crayon step. Now that our art is finished drying, it's time to add the finishing touches. Put a good amount of craft glue in the area that you want your first piece of plastic wrap to go. You want to make sure that when you place your plastic wrap down, the side that you colored is going to come in contact with the glue. This will activate the marker and you'll see it start to move around as you work with the plastic. And that's it! I hope you had fun making art with us! To share your projects, you can use hashtag the RMG from home.